like, excuse me, I see you got out some treats and toys. What are we doing today? I love when she does the splits. You want those? Okay, we're gonna use them, don't worry. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Stella's going a little crazy because I have some of her treats in my hand and some of her favorite tug toys because I posted a video a few weeks ago of all the tricks that I taught Stella and you guys said in the comments that you wanted to see how I taught her how to do those tricks. So today I'm gonna show you how I taught Stella leave it slash drop it. And there's two different major scenarios that I use this for. Bless you. And that is with food and treats and with toys. So those are the two that I'm gonna be showing you today. There is a third scenario that I think Leave It is really helpful and that's on walks when you see other dogs and squirrels. But Stella does not have that scenario down and I don't wanna teach it until I've had success with it. When I have a toy and I say leave it, she listens. When I have a treat or I drop a piece of food and I say leave it, she listens. When I'm on a walk and she sees a dog or a squirrel and I say leave it, it's just like, does not compute, <laughs> right? So today we're just focusing on food and toys, which I think are the easier ones to start with anyway. Which one do you wanna start with, treats or toys? Toys? Okay, we'll do toys first. She just loves to play, like any kind of play. She loves fetch, she loves tug. She loves being chased a little too much. So first thing I'm gonna start with is just getting her really into the toy and making it fun. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I don't know why she loves this so much. So I'll show you guys the command first and then I'll show you how I taught it. So she's super into the toy right now, but if I say leave it, Leave it is the command to drop it, and then when she doesn't listen, or right after she lets go, she goes for it again. That's when I do the little ax sound because she knows that that means like, no, don't do that. And then I let her start playing with it again. Leave it. And okay is her release word. So she knows when I say that, she can go back to playing with it again. And after I say leave it, even if I throw the toy, good girl. Even if I wave it in front of her face, <laughs> she knows she can't get it until I say, okay, good girl. So leave it with the toy. I actually taught her without using any treats at all. I just taught her with play. Basically what I would do is I do what I did before where I just get her super into the toy. I make it as fun and exciting as possible. I'm whipping it around, making sounds, acting like it's the most fun toy in the world. And then I would say leave it and she wouldn't let go because she didn't know what it meant obviously. But I would go from tugging and playing and making all these fun sounds and movements to just sitting completely still and holding it in one position. And usually she would tug on it and keep playing with it for like another 10 to 30 seconds. But then she'd be like, oh, this is kind of boring when she's not playing back and she's just sitting there like a stone. And then she'd let go. And the second she let go is when I would go back to playing and being all fun. So in this case, the playing and the tug game is a reward instead of a treat. So as soon as they do what they're supposed to do and they leave it, even if it takes them 30 seconds, even if it takes them two minutes, even if you have to sit there and hold that toy for 10 minutes without them listening, still give them the reward the second they do the right behavior. And just being super consistent with that is what got her to learn leave it with the toy. I'm gonna see if I can get her to do it right now. Okay, so she's playing with it, she's having a bunch of fun. I'm being fun, I'm moving it around, I'm jumping it up and down, I'm tugging on it. And then when I stop, she's like, uh, why'd you stop? This is boring. <laughs> and I, I waited too long, but the second she let go, I should have just gone right back into playing and having fun. She's getting super into it. Get it, Stella, get it, Stella. And then leave it. Good girl. And then you go back to playing. Ow, just my finger. There, so that's what she would do, is she'd get frustrated and she'd back up and be like, uh, excuse me, why'd you stop playing? And that's how I taught her to leave it with a toy. Okay, we're gonna put the toy away now. <laughs> She's having so much fun. If you want this, 
Oh yeah, okay, now we can get rid of toys. <laughs> Leave it with a treat and with food took a little bit longer. Basically my goal was that I wanted to be able to drop a dog treat or even when I'm cooking on the counter and cutting stuff up and I drop something by accident, I just didn't want Stella to just run at it and eat it because if I ever drop something not safe for dogs, then she'd just run and eat it and that's not really safe. So that was the goal with Leave It For Treats, which I think we have it right now. Every once in a while she forgets she's giving me paw because she wants a treat. Every once in a while she forgets, but I'd say she has about a 98% track record for not eating stuff when I drop it. So I've got Stella in a sit right here and I'm gonna say, leave it. You can tell that she thinks about it, but she doesn't do it. Ah! There's that sound again. Sorry, that was really loud and annoying. So how I taught her is I put one treat in this hand and then the rest of the treats in this hand. These ones are the rewards. This one is like the bait. And I would put it in my hand, close my fist, and put it in front of Stella. And she's not trying a lot right now. You can tell she's sniffing and licking a little bit. But usually when your dog's really young or a puppy and they're just starting to learn training, they're gonna be going at your hand like crazy. They're gonna be chewing it and licking it and just trying to get to that treat. So you hold your hand there and while they're licking and trying to get it, the second they stop trying, just like the tug it with the toys, the second they stop trying, you give them a treat and say leave it to reinforce that word. I always say this in my training videos, but I am not a dog trainer. I'm sure there's some dog trainers watching this being like, uh, you're not supposed to do it that way. You're supposed to do this, you're supposed to do this. And I do recommend that you go to puppy classes or dog trainers to get some real dog training, but this is what I used and what worked for me and that's why I'm sharing it. But yeah, if you're a dog trainer, I'm sorry if I'm teaching this wrong. But I would just keep doing that. So you hold the hand closed and then the second she stops, you give a treat and then eventually they learn, okay, so when I leave it, I get the treat. And then you try the next level, which would be an open hand. So I would put my hand down and the second she goes for it, I close my hand. So then she learns, okay, so when I lean close to it, I don't get a treat. And then when you get to the point where, <laughs> where they're just looking at it or they're looking at you, then you give a reward and you say, leave it. And then next step after that is I would place it on the ground but have your reflexes ready to cover it if they try and go for it. But then the next step would be leave it on the ground. And if your dog goes for it, she is thinking about it, then you cover it. And then she learns, okay, so I'm not supposed to go for it. And then when she looks at me, then I give her the treat because she's leaving it. And I'm talking throughout this whole thing, so I'm not using the proper commands, but I would be doing this in silence. And the only word I would be using is leave it to not confuse her. And I would say leave it the second she does the action so that she associates it with that. Once your dog has it where they leave it on the ground, then you can try tossing it. And same thing, have your reflexes ready to cover it. But you practice tossing things and then you can slowly work up closer. So when I first started, I would toss it far away from Stella so that I had more time to cover it. Now when I'm practicing with her, I will throw it right in front of her nose because that's more tempting. But definitely start easy and do baby steps up to it. Another thing you can do that I do now when I train Stella with this is sit, leave it, I drop it, and instead of giving her a treat from the other part of my hand, her reward is that I say, okay, and then she can go get the treat. So if I was cooking on the counter or dumping out some dog food and I dropped something and I did want her to have it, then I could say, okay, and then she can go get it. But for the most part, I want her to leave it. So that's it. That's basically how I taught Stella how to leave it with a toy and with a treat. If you're trying this with your own dog, you're probably like, why is Stella doing it so well right now and my dog's not listening? Just know that Stella was not always like this. I mean, she's still not perfect and she still makes mistakes and doesn't listen sometimes. This was not a one day training thing. This was over time, she got it. And I personally find when it comes to training with Stella is that I'm working at it and working at it and working at it for days or weeks and it seems like nothing is computing in her head like it's just not clicking and then one day out of the blue all of a sudden she gets it and she does it so try not to get frustrated with your puppy or your dog if they're not getting it right away it may not seem like 
they're soaking anything up, but they probably are soaking it up. They're learning slowly over time and it just takes a lot of consistency and a lot of patience. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. Still. <laughs> And make sure you hit subscribe so that you can see more videos. If there's any other tricks that you want me to try and show you how I taught Stella, if I've taught Stella them, Stella doesn't know every trick in the book, then comment that down below and I'll see you guys next time.